from my doctor and my, well, a doctor, a nurse, an RN, and she tells me I need to follow up with my doctor. Well, my doctor's gone for two weeks. Yep. Yeah. In other words, they're ignoring you. Um, she, she told me that my nausea pills that I'm taking are expired. I said, yeah. Okay, but I, I still need to take them because I, I'm very nauseous. Can I get a refill? Sure. No, she says, well, let me talk to another doctor and find out what we can do. And then I get an email saying, follow up with your doctor. So, I'm still waiting for two test results. There's no reason for me to go to the doctor because they still don't know what they're dealing with. Nope. So why follow up with my doctor? Well, that's what they're saying. They're saying they're not going to help you wait for your doctor to come back from vacation. So another two more weeks of yeah. massive diarrhea and nausea 24-7? This, uh, this is ridiculous. This is ri I, I can't leave the house. I can't. Well, they're trying to force you to go to urgent care. And I'm not going to urgent care. They're not going to do anything for me there. They're not going to do anything for me there. The only thing they might do is get set you up with an appointment with the gastroenterologist because they don't set you up with appointments at urgent care. They tell you follow up with your doctor. Right. So, so we're kind of stuck for uh, the next two weeks. Well, I'm going to call and try and get a phone appointment with a different doctor today and explain everything to them, and hopefully they'll just call me in more of my nausea medication. Okay. Hopefully somebody will listen. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. I feel like crap. I'm tired. I'm weak. I'm frustrated. I am, I've had enough. I'm sorry. So. Well, after we call your doctor, I'm going to go over to, look at this, <laughs> I'm going to go over to mom's. And no, you're not, <laughs> unless you're taking Boomer with you. <laughs> Attached to my arm today. So I'm going to uh, go over to uh, mom's. I got to go to the store. This is what I'm thinking, and every time I keep thinking about it, this should have been an easy job. Should have had no problems doing this. But it's been, not been an easy job. Nothing has been fitting. And I think it's because it's a trailer. And the toilet that's in there is not a normal toilet. It's, it's smaller than a regular toilet. And um, I probably should be trying to order something from a, a trailer company. But uh, what I'm going to do tomorrow today is basically make sure it's working first um the, the the name on the toilet the manufacturer i never heard of before it isn't your normal company names it's something completely strange well that might be because it is for a trailer yeah and every time i put something with the the a wax seal with the cup in it um it won't it the, the toilet won't sit on the floor it'll rock so it's not fitting in the line so i think the the uh, bottom of the uh, porcelain toilet is shallow and is not seating and won't seat unless I put something specifically for it. So it might be the situation because it's a trailer, like you said. So, but I'm going to do what I can today to get it get it seated. I just need to fix that other side, put it uh, a wax ring that does not have a uh, a cup in it. Look at this, and. Uh, call it a day and uh, I'll, I'll find out what manufacturer that toilet is and see if there's a something else <laughs> want to show my psychedelic mushrooms all right she's been painting shrooms coloring <laughs> psychedelic <laughs> you want some psychedelic mushrooms boomer yeah. <laughs> Catnip will do. <laughs> you gonna come attack my arm? So this toilet's called a Niagara by 
CTP, 1.6 gallons per flush. See if I can find any information on it. All right. We've been stuck in traffic. We just had to go like two blocks and it's taken us about 15 minutes. And looks like there's a, an accident over here. This is the 15 South. Oh, there it is, yeah. It's not even in a lane. It's off to the side. <laughs> I think he's just given a ticket. So all this traffic for nothing. They can't be going too fast. They can't be speeding. What's the ticket for? <laughs> well, there's three cars there. Maybe there was a little bit of a crack up. Mm. I see a lady standing there. There's a truck, a couple of cars. Everybody's looky looing right now. Yeah. Yeah, there's an accident. All right. Alright, so I took the one bolt out and I thought, did I just crack this? No, it has a crack in it. I'm wondering uh, if that's what this is leaking from. <sighs> I'll have to see what I can do. Okay, I'm wrapping up in here. I got the toilet seated perfectly. I don't think it's leaking, except what I didn't realize is that there is a crack in the tank. Now this may have been the source of the leak all along, I don't know. But at least the toilet is not rocking or doing anything, which it was. But um, I'm stopping for today because we have to buy a tank. And it's getting late and Val, I need to get back to Val. So, what is this, day four? stinking toilet okay so I didn't get the toilet fixed let's hear about it I know it's like four days I've been working on this toilet and um, it, it comes down to the um, I can't get a flange that fits inside the the waste pipe I think the waste pipe is not a three inch it's probably two and a half or or two and three quarters but nothing will fit I finally got um, the toilet seated and I don't think it's going to leak, but the tank is leaking. And uh, that may have been what's been leaking all along, because it did have a crack in it. It looked like somebody had made a repair, and the repair was, was broken. So I need to replace the tank now. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to have to replace the whole toilet. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to have to replace all the pipes in it. Thank God it's not our bathroom right now because we'd be in trouble. <laughs> I'd be staying upstairs. <laughs> I would.
would, I would. I've just been relaxing and coloring all day. We did manage to get a doctor to refill my nausea medication, so that's a plus. Kevin's got to pick that up for me tomorrow. Yep, and uh, I'm not going to work on the toilet tomorrow. I'm going to work on the hearth tomorrow. And I'm just going to keep coloring. Should I show them what I'm coloring right now? Sure. I'm coloring a vampire right now. Sexy women. Yeah. I did a little, little bumblebee girl. Okay. <laughs> and I did. You finished your. I uh, finished my mushroom your, house. Your magical mushroom house. Yeah. Groovy man. All these will be in the book when we do the book video, which shouldn't be too much longer. I want to fill the book with <laughs> all the slots that I have, and then I can show you guys. Well, at three, so. three in a day, I'd say that's going to happen pretty quickly. Well, I don't do three a day. There was a couple of days I didn't do any because I wasn't feeling good. So. Okay. But anyway, we're going to call it a night, so we hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen on our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite, please share our video, please leave us a comment, and please subscribe, and we shall see you all tomorrow.